Lucas Media. Wow. Just wow. So, Caitlin Clark and her Iowa Hawkeyes played against Angel Reese, her LSU Tigers. Uh, Caitlin Clark's team ended up winning while Caitlin pretty much turned into Steph Curry out there. Hit nine threes was the NCAA record. She also finished with 31 points, which is crazy. But like I said, nine of them, she hit nine threes. She was wide open or creating her own shots. And she was out there killing it, right? Um, but so Angel Reese, and of course she was the highest scorer for her team. Angel Reese scored 17 points. She did get hurt in the first half. Looked like she hurt her ankle. Um, but she was out there pushing herself to the limits. Uh, Flage scored 23 points. But it just, it wasn't enough. And the game was pretty tied up going into halftime. But then the second half, the Kaylin team just took over and she was wielding her team and telling them not to back down. And now they're going to, to the final four. This might have been the, the highest watched game due to this was a rematch from last year. Even though last year was for the national title. Shout out to Caitlin Clark. She's definitely NBA ready. I really hope that the NBA, WNBA ready. I really hope that the WNBA don't drop the ball with neither one of these superstar players. I forget which player they said, but they were talking about why would I take a pay cut to go professional? I don't, I'm sure the money is there, but both of them got a fan base. Caitlin Clark has a deep, deep fan base. Um, yeah, so. We gonna see. We gonna see if the WNBA if they if they drop the ball on this. But what's next for Angel Reese? I do think that she should go pro. I support if she go back, especially with the NIL agreements. But there's nothing else to prove. You didn't. You didn't already won a national title. I mean, you was the talk of the town last year, the toast of the town, however you say it, last year. And I mean, it's time for you to go to the next level. And with you and Caitlin, if y'all both go pro. Then y'all can somewhat have this rivalry and y'all can rivalry and y'all can bring y'all fan base with with y'all. If y'all get what I mean. I think it's time to grow WNBA as long as they don't screw it up. But like with Caitlin and Angel and then Juju coming behind a couple years later, you can start to see that people are going to care more about the WNBA, hopefully. But I want to get my quick thoughts about it. I mean, again, it was a great game. I watched it from beginning to end. I wanted to see LSU win back to back, but it just wasn't a year. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. What y'all think?